Hello guys, welcome to your 26th job tutorial. Today I'm going to teach you about array lists. Uh, it's like a it's like a list. Now let's get started. Uh, okay, so we have a class and we need to input the array list class. So we do input Java type detail dot array list. So now we need to make a new array list object. So to do that, you do array list. I'm just gonna, then you put um the great uh, uh um greater than than um less than signs. And you um put the type you want to put. So if you want it to be a string, you would put string. If you want it to be an integer, you would put int. If you want it to be a double, you would put double. If you want it to put an object, you would put the object. So um I'm just gonna make it a string. I'm gonna call it names. You can call it whatever you want. Then equals new array list. And that's how you make an array list object. So again, you put array list um less than uh then greater than signs and string inside of it or the type. Then names equals new array list. Then the type you want it again. Then um the um, parentheses so now we um, are going to use it so let's add it, something to the list so let's do um, <coughs> um, names not add bob names not add bob uh, names not add now if we run this oh wait one sec um then just make a print statement and do like put the name just put names the name of the array list then um it will print it out baba baba bob baba seth it will print them out <clears throat> you can do like um names dot clear that clears the list so now if we do six, if we do um now if we uh, run the program oops I forgot called names we run the program nothing nothing's in it so um it's how you clear the list and add something to it now how do you get a um item at a certain index you type names dot get then you put the index name so we put five or like two so we could do system dot out that print line oh sorry about that I was gone um but now I'm back just put system dot out that print line names dot get then the index that you want to get so in this case this would put um put sith because it starts at zero and it goes into um two in this case. So we put one, it would get Baba. Put zero, it would get Bob. So that's how you get an item. Then you can do uh, names that remove that remove then the index of it. So if we do one and one, it will remove Baba. Then we could do system dot out dot print line. Then we could put um. Then we would print out the arrays. I meant the um, array list. And then um, <coughs> it would print Bob. And then Seth, because we removed one. And if we if we change this to two, it will remove Seth. And if we change this to one, it will remove um Bob. And if we change this to zero, it will remove Bob. And again, array, uh, what an array list is, how they could be useful is if you have a list and it just, and you like, in a list you just keep adding stuff to it. Like, what that's what you do in an array list, you just keep adding it, it's like a list. But like, unlike an array, you have to give it um, the amount of stuff it can hold. So like, you like, you know, array lists would be good if you don't know how much, um, uh, stuff it can hold, like how many uh, string inputs it can hold. You would use like an array list and like such. And um, 
So there's um name uh, there's dot add there's names dot add. Then you just put what you want to add. Then there's names dot remove. Then you put the index. And there's names dot clear that removes that just clears the list. And there's names dot get and that just gets the um list. That's the basics of an array list. Uh, I just wanted to show you it so like if you are uh, looking at someone's code and you see it um you know what it is and you're like and you're not like and you don't think it's alien language so uh thanks for watching subscribe like and favorite this video bye